guys it's your girl jewel here with my healthy lifestyle change how are y'all doing i hope that june is treating you well i hope that you are getting everything you work hard for this month i know everybody is going after those summer bodies and unbigging their back and i feel it i'm here for it all oh, honey it's an act bad summer so i am definitely feeling the energy um I am coming to an end on my 100 day challenge. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days left. A week left, four, five, six, six days left. Um, and with that, during this 100 day journey, I have been working on a gratitude journal and that's just keeping three things or saying three things that I'm grateful for every single day and i believe that it's so beneficial especially when you're on a journey that seems like it's all uphill to be grateful for the actual journey of getting there so today i want to share with you guys five ways to be more grateful for your life for your journey and the place that you are in number one and i guess you can uh you already know this one but keep a gratitude journal keep a gratitude journal even there are so many different gratitude journals there are some on my amazon storefront there are some at target there's gratitude journals anywhere but if you don't have a gratitude journal just get you a regular journal and put the date and one, two, three, and you're gonna write three things every single day that you are grateful for. And you're gonna do it morning, afternoon, or in the evening after your day is over. It's up to you, but keeping that gratitude journal will help you process. Because I think a lot of times we're moving so fast that we do not process the actual journey of becoming the person that we want to be we do not process the actual growth from who we used to be to where we're going and i you know keeping that journal makes you actually visualize and look at what your day has been what your week has been who made your day better what you did to make your day better and writing those three things that you are grateful for really helps you release some positive energy and vibes around you so that you can appreciate the journey you're actually on so keep a gratitude journal or a notebook and write down what you're grateful for every single day and a tip that I like to do for um, my gratitude journal is past present and future so i like to say something that i'm grateful for in the past something that i'm grateful for right now and things that i'm grateful for that i know i'm going to be receiving so i think that is a great way to start if you're starting out um keeping a gratitude journal start with the past present and future and that way it'll flow easily when you're doing everyday gratitude journals for yourself so number two goes with number one look at how far you have come we look ahead at the uphill battle and i know there's all the sayings out there only look back when i don't even know the saying whatever but looking at how far you have come instead of looking at your uphill battle that you have to take will make you proud of where you are will make you more grateful for where you are okay instead of looking at how far you gotta go how rough it's gonna be all the challenges that you're gonna have look at where you used to be and where you are now is your mindset different is your habits different is your friend circle different is your language that you're speaking different like look at those things and appreciate those things and write those things down into your journal so that you can actually be grateful for where you were and where you are now and you just thank the lord thank god or whoever it is that you think that you're not where you used to be that's the whole point 
the whole point of this journey of being grateful and becoming and all these things is to move from the spot that we're in toward the person that we want to be and we want it to be a continuous journey because once you get there you don't want to just be stuck at there and not be satisfied so you want to always have something that keeps you moving and by doing that you have to look back of how at how far you have come so that you can see mm, if i just keep going i'll be even further so look back at where you've come from so that you can see how far you have come that's number two. Number three, five minute meditation. I told you guys on this 100 day challenge that I was going to be working on meditation. I have not quite reached five minutes, keeping my mind steady for that long of, of that long of a time has not been my thing. But I told you guys I was working on one minute and I have successfully been able to meditate for one minute and I'm okay with that 60 seconds. I will build upon that 60 seconds as I go along. But the point of this is not just to meditate for five minutes. The point of this is to be able to sit with yourself. Sit with yourself by yourself. Bring your mind to a calm, slow down, and literally take that moment to be grateful for your present. Be grateful for that breath that you get to take. Be grateful for that moment. If you're sitting in the sun, for me personally, if I'm sitting like I'm sitting right now and this sun is out, I am grateful for the sun. It feels amazing. It looks amazing. I'm grateful for being able to wake up and see it. Just sit with yourself for a moment. Even if you're feeling sad or mad or upset about something, take that moment to process what it is that you're feeling and then make a decision after you after you have sat with it just take a moment to breathe and some days i i don't have it in me to slow my mind down but i use my watch for the mindfulness and for the breath and some days i'm just not able to get my mind to chill out so I use the breathing um, app on here and I literally just sit there and breathe. In, out. And I feel so much calmer and so much better, especially if I'm riled up about something or upset about something after I just take a moment to breathe. So figure out how to do some type of meditation um add that into your day and i promise you that will get you closer to being more grateful like you want it so that is number three number four is to use visual reminders so y'all we forget we forget we you know we get so wrapped up in our lives and in our day and into our friends and into our family and into everything that we have going on that we literally forget that we need to take a moment to slow down and be grateful for where where we are we kind of get so wrapped up into comparison to other people and comparison to who we used to be and into comparison to who we want to be that we forget about the actual place that we are, which is not where we used to be, which is actually working toward becoming the person that we wanna be. And so because we forget, we need those visual reminders to show us, okay, we doing all right. <laughs> we doing all right, we doing all right. Use different visual aids that remind you of why you're on your journey. Of where you want of where you want to be and so for me I personally look at um, 
for health, for example, I'm a part of several health groups on Facebook. And one group that I absolutely tremendously love is called a healthy alternative. And that is my fasting group. And um, they do a lot of water fasts and fruit fasts and different types of fasts. But I always, when I'm feeling like I am not working hard enough, I am not uh, progressing, I am not uh, even close to my goals, I get into that group and I look at other people's journeys, read other people's stories, look at other people's before and afters, and I literally feel my cup being filled up again. And that's the whole point. You got to fill your cup up because we get drained. We get drained, we forget that we're actually doing well, we forget that we're killing the game, we forget that we need to be grateful, we forget about all these things and we need something to fill our cups back up. And so you have to find those things that fill your cup up. And for me, visual aids work for me. So when I'm in that group, I'm looking at other people killing it, I'm like, yes! And I feel super motivated again. I feel confident about myself. I feel confident in what I'm doing. And I'm like, I got this. I can do it for another day, another two days. I can do it, you know? And I might have to come back in here and do it again. But that just gave me the motivation of where, of what I wanted. If I'm looking at someone, maybe I have a role model who is my body goals or something. I'm on their Instagram page hard. Like, look at that. Like, that's what I want, you know? Like, so... Find those visual aids that work for you, that fill your cup up so you can remember your goals, so you can remember, okay, it's a process. I am working towards it. I am okay. I will get there. Let me just keep going. Fill your cup up with something positive, please. I'm telling you, when you get that visual aid, it's like a burst of energy okay so that is number four so number five is one that i absolutely adore and love and that is to volunteer okay when you help others you help yourself and it's inevitable in my opinion to volunteer your time and give yourself wholeheartedly to other people and not feel grateful for your life, for where you are. And it, it doesn't even have to be to the less fortunate, but when you look outward instead of inward, you typically feel better because we get so caught up on the inside about me, 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 and our problems as if we're the only people that's going through what we're going through. Who cares? Who cares? Every single person in this world has their own go through. You are not special, boo. So when you start looking at other people and what they are going through, you stop feeling sorry for yourself. And so volunteering, I think, is the quickest way to make you get out of that funk of me, 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 my problem, my problem, my problem, my problem, and start actually giving yourself to something else, something bigger than, than you, something more than what you're just in every single day, getting out of your environment, putting yourself in someone else's environment, in someone else's shoes, it just seeing things from a different perspective gives you a different perspective on yourself. And so if you want to be more grateful, I definitely recommend volunteering, doing something simple, going out. If maybe you have some shoes that you no longer want, finding somebody who's on the side of the road and giving them those shoes, going to a soup kitchen to volunteer, finding a girls program to mentor, anything. It does not matter what the volunteer work is but getting out of where you are and putting yourself in another environment definitely makes you more grateful for your life and what you have going on so those are five ways to be more grateful i actually have a bonus tip um and this one i guess it could be number six it is replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts and this is easier said than done, but this is like the one that 
I mean, this works for sure. I have firsthand knowledge that this is a game changer if you want to be more grateful, if you want to have more positive things happen in your life. This one is a game changer. Changing your negative thoughts to positive immediately. Immediately. And so what I do, I keep my notebook. I have several notebooks. And when I start talking down on myself, I go to a blank page in the notebook and I do a brain dump. Because what I find is most of the time when I'm talking negative talk towards myself, it's because I'm not feeling productive on my journey or on my goals, or I have so much that's clouding my brain that I can't think. That's what I found for me. So you have to figure out why it is that you're having negative self-talk. But most of the time, when I'm having negative self-talk, it's because I have a lot on my mind and I need to get it off, or I'm not feeling productive on my goals. Either way, there's a solution. So I write down literally what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, not productive, not practicing my DJing, didn't make it to the gym this morning, uh, ate some snacks because I was feeling sad, uh, gained two pounds. Um, I literally just brain dump. I get it all out. Need to create content. Need to do my YouTube video. Need to do this. Need to get an outfit for this. Need to book trip. Need to get the flight to this. I just write it all down all over the page and I literally do a brain dump. And as soon as I finish dumping it all on the paper, then I say, all right, now, where do I need to start so that I can accomplish all of these things on this paper? And it usually just takes one thing. Okay, I have not practiced my DJing for today. What am I doing right now? Let's go. Let's go do it. And I go stand there and I go do it until I literally feel better. But brain dumping all of that negative thoughts and replacing it with something positive or a, an action that you can do makes all of the difference. And that's where the uh, gratitude journal comes into play. So you can literally brain dump all of those negative thoughts and replace it with something positive. So another example of replacing a negative thought with a positive thought is, oh, I'm a failure. The replacement thought is, if I did not fail, then I wouldn't know how to progress. If I did not fail, then I would not know what success looks like. Another example is I'm having a breakdown. I'm having a meltdown. Okay. The replacement thought is I may be breaking down in this moment, but this may be a setup for a breakthrough. I may be feeling confused in this moment, but that may mean I need to adjust some things. Maybe I have too much going on, so let me take a sit back and breathe and prioritize. Maybe I'm doing too much this morning. Let me figure out what's the most important thing to do, and I'll do that thing first. Changing the narrative of what you think about something changes your thoughts about yourself. But we have to learn how to speak in a different language when we wanna be more grateful. We have to learn how to start using a different lingo when we wanna be more grateful. I think that we've all been around some people who we can say we feel like there's a positive energy that radiates off of them. And it's because their language is different. Their thoughts are different. Therefore, it makes their energy 
different. And if you want that positive energy, that happiness that just radiates off of you, you have to change the language that you have within your mind. And that changes the language that comes out of your mouth. But it starts with the inner work that you have to do toward being more grateful for the person that you are, for the journey that you have, for the life that you've been given. I believe that we all can be more grateful for who we are. I believe that we all can be more grateful for our lives and have more happiness come to us quicker if we start with being more grateful. And so these were five tips, well, I guess six tips on how to be more grateful. And I hope that these help someone out there. If you have any other tips about being grateful or how to be grateful or where to start on a gratitude journey, please comment them down below. I would love to read them. I would love to try them out. I am working on being more grateful in my life. So I hope this video helps someone else on their gratitude journey. All right, guys, I will see y'all next time. Peace.